Well, can playing cards help solve some of Madison's most notorious crimes? It is a new project that aims to bring closure to cold cases, some more than 50 years old. In a story you'll only see here on News 3, Jessica Arp tells us why authorities think prosecutions are in the cards. They all left. It was a case that captivated the city. A young woman missing after a night on the town. Beyond that, no one really knows exactly for sure who she was with, where she all went. Friends and family searched, prayed, and plastered the city with photos. Then a week later, the family was dealt a blow. 22-year-old UW Whitewater student Kelly Nolan was found dead in a wooded area in the town of Dunn. It, it was uh, our belief the detectives working on the, on the case at the time, and it, and it continues to be the belief of the detectives uh, from the City of Madison Police Department that there are members um, in this community or in other, other communities that do have information uh, in Kelly's case. Former City of Madison Detective John Summer says before he retired last year, he was approached about a new program, which would put Kelly's face in a new place. I absolutely think that they could help the case. The Wisconsin Association of Homicide Investigators has worked for the last two years on this deck, cold cases on playing cards, the decks placed in prisons and jails for inmates to use. What I see more likely to happen is that they're going to more likely want to look at the cards and the cases and identify you know, do I know something about this case that I did? Somebody I spoke to last week, last year, tell me uh, something that I can identify in this case. Law enforcement believe inmates oftentimes are willing to share tips with police once they're faced with a victim's face. The cards have proved a winning hand. Florida, Washington, Minnesota, Connecticut, and Oregon have all gotten convictions based on their leads. And that's what success would be, even if it's one. The city of Madison volunteered three other cases besides Kelly's. UW-Madison student Brittany Zimmerman was killed in 2008 in her downtown apartment. No person of interest was ever found in the case. Gregory Bray was found dead in his Raymond Road apartment in 2003, and while police believe he knew his attacker, they've never found or convicted any person of interest involved. In 1979, Julie Spearschneider disappeared from her downtown apartment and was later found dead in rural Dane County. UW-Madison police have two other cases, one that rocked the campus in 1982, when 23-year-old Donna Mraz was found stabbed near Camp Randall Stadium. Police had a person of interest, but not enough evidence to arrest or convict. And one of the older cases in the deck, 18-year-old Christine Rothschild, who was found also stabbed, her body next to Sterling Hall. The numbers on the cards are random, not meant to be in any order of importance. But oddly enough, the four of diamonds brought Kelly Nolan's mother to tears. Kelly is one of uh, four children, and uh, her mother referred to her children as her four precious stones, her four gems. And so, uh, so that, was very, uh, that was very touching uh, for her. Summers believes if the cards are played right, that diamond could be the turn the case has been waiting for. Well, I think that the family um, uh, you know, they, they've, they've approached Kelly's case with, with grace and dignity and strength uh, every day for the last four years. And they are, I think, ever hopeful that, um, that the next time the phone rings, uh, that that will be the, you know, the answer uh, uh, to what happened to Kelly. And that the words of Kelly's sister in 2007 have never been more true. We know there's somebody out there that knows something, so that's all we're hoping for. I spoke today with Brittany Zimmerman's mother, Jean, who says they are glad this puts her case as well back in the public eye and that either this or a $40,000 reward fund they have set up will lead to the information that will find her killer. It's a very interesting idea, and investigators are still actively looking into the Brittany Zimmerman case and another case, right? That's right. It's actually an important distinction to make that this uh, neither of those cases are considered cold by investigators. They are still pursuing leads in both, but really felt that these cards could could be another avenue for information. And nice to know these families may see some peace. Thanks, Jess. Thank you, Jess.